Hello, I've done very little rehearsal for this, so forgive any glitches or pauses as I look at my notes. A uh, member at blenderartist.org had a question about how to start a project, an animation of a piece of paper folding into an origami crane. Uh, I decided to take a stab at it and showing the first few steps so far that I've gotten just to to get it started. Uh, to begin with, I went to origami.me, their page on a crane, and I folded myself a little crane, uh, following all 52 steps. The, uh, the crane didn't look very good, but uh, it worked for my purposes, which was as a template. So I, I unfolded it and marked all the edges with pen, so it would show up better, took a picture of it, and then brought it into Blender as an image. I then uh, used that to lay out all the vertices and the edges where the fold lines would be. Um, then I realized, well, it wasn't working out. Things weren't matching up, and I realized I could use symmetry to make things go a little bit faster and actually work out better. So let's look at uh, this. So I started out with just this corner and then I just modeled these vertices. Um, once that was done I added in a bunch of hooks which are just empties which will control each of the the vertices. Once I had that, I just had to mirror it, o mirror it over. So in edit mode I selected everything on my plane, I hit shift D to duplicate, enter, and then control M for mirror, and we're going to go along the x-axis here, so X and then enter. And select everything again. Shift D to duplicate. Control M and then Y this time. And then it's just a little bit of cleanup. Select everything and then Alt M to merge by distance. So that gets rid of all the extra vertices along these lines here. And then I go into edge select mode and uh, so the uh, the head will be here at this corner and the tail will end up here so we don't actually need these folds so I select all these so alt and then click on one of them and it selects them all control X and just gets rid of them so now we have that and we can do the same thing with these empties so I'm going to first copy copy them down, let's say. So select them all, and then using box select, B, um, try and get rid, of, get rid of these on this line. Shift D to duplicate, and then Control M, Y. Now we've got empties for this quarter. And then we do the same thing with all of them, and then Shift D, Control M, and copy them over here. Now, when I was first doing it, I want to show this first. Um, in order to add an empty, uh, select a vertex, hit Control H for hook, and hook to new object. So. That's how I set up all the original ones. So now this controls that vertex. Uh, now that I have the empties, I need to hook them to their respective vertices. Um, so select an empty, shift select the plane, and then tab into edit mode. And we select that, you know, the appropriate vertex. And again, we use Control H, but this time hook to selected object. So now this one will control that vertex. 
Okay. Once that was all set up, and I had everything where I wanted, this is, I call this step 000. Um, this is basically my beginning state. And when I find a glitch later on, which I have several times already, I can just come back to here and start fresh. Um, don't want to do that. So here's step zero. So I just did this just to test everything out. And then also, uh, you need to rotate the plane into the right position. So the way to do that, I added a new empty, this big cube here, and I parented all of the hooks to this empty. That way I can animate just this empty and move everything around. So the animation is pretty simple. It's uh, at zero rotation around the z-axis at the first frame. And I'm making every step 30 seconds long, or three seconds long, so that's 90 frames. So then I went to frame 90, and I rotated it 45 degrees, negative 45 degrees around the z-axis, and then keyframe that. Look at camera view. So as you play through it, right, it just there's a little rotation. Now to do each each next step, uh, make sure you're starting at the end. So everything's in this in the last position. And I go up to new scene and I do full copy. Those. Put all that down. Um so now it's starting exactly where it ended up last time. Um, what I want to do, though, is delete the previous keyframes, because otherwise it tend to mess things up. So selecting the, the cube here, I right-click and just hit Clear Keyframes. And the first step was from... 1 to 90. So this one will go from 91 to 180. Then make sure you're at the first frame here. And the next step is to unparent everything. So I select everything. And I Alt P, clear and keep transformation. Reason is I want to this is rotated around the z-axis and I want to clear that so I just put zero in because again otherwise it messes things up later on so now that that's correctly oriented um, the first step is to fold the top half down onto the bottom half so all I do is uh, select everything on top and get it in one go. And then deselect these things along the center line. We don't want to mess with those. So again, B for box select and middle mouse button. Okay, so we got all our empties selected. And we select the cube empty and parent. Control P and object keep transform. I always do this just it's safer. Okay, so now this is just controlling the top half of the paper. So again, we are at zero rotation. We're going to rotate around the x-axis this time, though. So I just right-click on rotation, the x-axis, and insert single keyframe. Go to the end. Change it to 180. Right click and insert single keyframe. So now, play through, it'll fold right over. And uh, we'll do the next step. Oh, yeah, I, I renamed this uh, step one. And now that this one's done, I can go. Full copy, new scene, full copy. 
I hate how it opens everything up. And uh, once again, you want to uh, select that. There are all the keyframes. And this one will go from 181 to 270. So again, making them 3 seconds, 90 frames. Helps keep track of things. But for this step, we need to fold the right half over to the left half. So we need to, well, first thing, unparent everything. So Alt-P, clear and keep transformation. And uh, top view, get out of perspective mode there. So we'll select uh, everything on the right, right? So not the center line or anything on the left. And make sure the uh, the cube is selected, so you can see the hopefully the color, the orange is slightly different. Control P, object, keep transform, and we're going to be uh, rotating around the Y axis. So, oh, let's undo all that. Control Z, Control Z. So again, it's already rotated around the x-axis. We don't want that. So Alt-R will clear that rotation, clear the rotation. OK, so now we try that again. Control-P. And then insert a keyframe at frame 181. Zero rotation. Go to the end. Change that to 180. Insert a single keyframe. So now, oh, it's folding the wrong way. So let's make that minus 180 keyframe. Okay, so now it's folding the right way. Um, so that's step two, and actually step three is very similar, so I'm actually going to call this scene step two dash three. Um, we'll add another 90 frames, so that's uh, 60, and because step three is to actually fold this back up. so. Go to the end, and then we change this to minus 90. Right, so let's fold it up and insert a keyframe there. So if we go to the the beginning, we can cam review. Let's get rid of all the geometry or the hooks. So that's the first part, and then it folds back up. And then we're ready for step four, uh, which I haven't done yet, so can't really show that. That one's a lot trickier because uh, it involves folding these out, right? See how they kind of overlap? That's why I'm making them different shapes is easier. Then when you can grab one, you can figure out which side of the paper you're on. So. Uh, it's going to fold along this edge here, or this line here, and this folds down, and then this folds down. Let me actually show the, uh, yeah, here. So you kind of pinch this down, these spread out. A bit much. So these will spread out, and then this corner there will meet that corner there. So, haven't quite worked that one out yet, but again, I just wanted to show how I started this out um, and uh, animating this. So, uh, that's, that's all I got so far. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful.